I mean, like, I'm already kind of known as a system guy around town, but, like, that's pretty much it. Like, I just, I don't want to be recognized. I just want to give people fistbumps. Would you rather have with a person or fist bump them? I can't answer that question. Hello? Hi. Hi, what is your name? Amelie, like the Lil Wayne song. Amelie, what's going on? How can I get you today? Um... It's going pretty good. I got a lot of new shoes today, and um, it's the weekend. Anyways, I texted you. I like I fist bump people on the weekend, and people don't seem to get it. You fist bump people on the weekends, and they don't seem to get it. Yeah, like they think it's an entire social experiment thing. Like I started recording myself because people were asking where the camera is. Like, I just like I like fisting people. Uh, in what context are you fist bumping these people? Like I just stand on a corner, I like get ridiculously high, and I just fist bump people. Like I offer a fist bump. It's up to them to take it. How long are you typically doing this for per session? A couple hours, like ten to one, typically. So like three hours. Yeah. Um, so you're sitting there for three hours. Uh, I'm just standing, just getting high, yeah. And, and just people watching, kind of. It's like, and, it's uh, interactive is, people is, watching. Is it, is it the corner of a busy street? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's pretty much downtown, like, where bars intersect. What, so, like, uh, what I'd, city? I'd, I'd, I'd like to not... I can tell you privately, but I'd like to not state on the phone because I feel like that would identify me. Do you not want to be identified? Do you not want to like be like, known as I, the fist bump guy? I mean, like I'm already kind of known as a fist bump guy around town, but like that's pretty much it. Like I just I don't want to be recognized. I just want to give people fist bumps. You really? Oh, by the way, listen. Obviously, you don't have to tell me if you don't want to, but you really think people are going to be able to identify you? By if by like how would they identify you? Because I'm the only because guy I... that does it. Like I'm the like I've been I've been identified by people I know because I'm close to my hometown. Like, how often do you do this? I do this every weekend. I've been doing it for a year, and I think this is the last year because it's like I'm going to, like, I'm 20. No. 21 going to be 22 later on this year and like i feel like this is like the last bits of like oh yeah he's he, like he's cool like that does that make sense like it's the last college kind of year i didn't go to college but yeah no that doesn't make sense what are you are you are you why is this the last year that you will be face fist bumping people on the corner for two hours getting stoned because like, it's the last college year. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I'm I'm gonna be 22. Like, I don't want to be doing this for forever. I just like the feeling it gives me now. Does that make sense? That makes sense. What? Why don't you just keep doing it until you really don't enjoy it anymore? Because like, I'd like to leave it on a high note. I don't want. I don't want it to like just. I don't want to how I met your mother. It. I want to like, you know, give it a good ending, and like just stop all of a sudden. You don't want to jump the shark. No, I don't want to jump the shark. I don't want. I don't want this to like be like, oh, this is getting fucking annoying. This is becoming a burden. Which like at some points I've kind of felt like that, but I still enjoy it in the end. So like I kind of recognize this as like almost running its course. Um, so once per week, do you do this multiple times per weekend or this is once I, per I do, week? I, I do this twice per week. Per every I do this Friday, Saturday, all night. From what hours? I told you from about 10 to 1. 10 p.m. to 1 a.m. Yes. This is a night activity I, like, with other adults. I've been hit on by like... Both genders, I've well, and uh, multiple others that I don't even recognize, and like I just 
brush them all off and like I just I mean I've had a girl whisper in my ear I need to experience you before and I'm like no and she just ended up making out with another guy across the street to try and make me jealous she was throwing her hands in the air after like the other guy left her how did that make you feel I'm like oh well, I'm just another guy so it didn't matter in the end if anything I'm happier now because she's upset uh, okay, so you brush them off. Do you brush all these people off because your one and only goal is to do the fist bumps and anything other than that would just get in your way? That and also I just don't like the idea of satellites, if that makes any sense. Like, that I don't doesn't make any myself. sense at all. I have no idea what you mean by that. Like, I don't want any moons or anything that are like that around me like i'm just a lone planet by myself like i don't know i don't like the idea of friends is very appealing but at the same time it's like no nah, i'm okay so i just like people i talk with people it's not like i have a hard time talking with people people tell me i'm great at like talking with people but like i just don't like repeated people does that make sense so Okay, all right. First, let's talk, like, wow, this is, we could actually talk about this for an hour. So, you, okay, let's start with the, like, relationship thing. Are you, like, are you, are you asexual? I believe so. Like, I just, like, I don't, I've had sex before. I don't find any, like, real entertainment in that like i'd rather just get to know the person on a deeper level but at the same time in order for that deeper level people like traditionally at least like people will have intimacy and like i just don't get it would you rather have sex with a person or fist bump them i can't answer that question because like i like giving the fist bumps but at the end of the day that's all it is and like it's cool that somebody wants to have sex with me but at the end of the day it's like okay i i had sex with this person does that make sense i'm very you, indifferent you, to, to both outcomes do you feel like it's like is a fist bump and sex on the same level of intimacy for you no, sex is more intimate, but like, it's like, I don't know. I just don't want, like, I don't know. I, like, it, I kind of feel almost like a novelty to people, if that makes sense. Um, okay. I have a lot of more, I have a lot of questions, but I, I want to talk about this because I haven't gotten this to this yet. When you try to fist pump people. How often do they accept versus rebuff your offer of the fist bump? I'd say it's probably like a 40-60 split to 60 acknowledging it and 40 like either just rejecting it or acknowledging it and but not giving me the fist bump. What do you think of those 40% of people who reject the fist bump? Um, it's very different depending on the person like if it's a couple out like if it's a guy and, and a girl if the girl fist bumps me i feel like oh okay bro i kind of pointed something out for you just depending on the way she kind of goes about it if the guy initiates the fist bump it's like okay this is indifferent and then if a girl reciprocates it's like okay she's acknowledged that this is behavior does that make sense so when like okay so if you, a guy and a girl are walking by you and you're about to give them a fist bump and the girl initiates the fist bump you said oh i feel like i just pointed something out for you what does that mean well like i've i've had many girls give me a fist bump some of them are just by themselves and that's perfectly fine they can fist bump whoever and then I've had girls that are with their partners and then you can kind of tell when it's mutual and then you can kind of tell when like the girl is not in or is more interested in you than the partner. So you, you feel like 
if like, a I, girl tries to you feel like if a girl tries to if you feel like if a girl tries to fist bump you it, i mean she it's not is, it's, she's it's, more it's, into it's like, you than her partner it's like the dave chappelle skit like it's um where he's talking about like um um like consensual uh things like oh she said no no stop it don't do that and then the court reporter reads it back no no stop it don't do that like It really we're getting, just depends we're getting, on the concept and the body language in the girl. Okay, we're getting a little off track here, but um, what? Okay, all right. So have you made? Okay, I have more questions. Have you got? Have you ever gotten into trouble with this? Have you ever um, like? There's been, uh, like no legal trouble. Like the cops know that I do this. They're. they're they're on the same page as me. They've asked me before. I'm like, I, I just do this because I like doing it. And then, like, as far as drunk people go, most people are really chill. I think I've had, like, five incidents in total. I've had a, a guy spit on my hand, but I don't escalate stuff because, like, I don't know if they can fight. And I don't want any trouble with any of the, the clubs, bars, or, or police. I've had a guy, like, walk around, and I feel like he was just, self-hating himself at that time because he just kept walking around like five times just saying fuck you to me multiple times and like i i had my phone stolen like two weekends ago by some black chick and like it was a fat one of course all her Jesus friends were laughing Christ, at man. her and she just stole all right, my phone all right. what's up all right uh let's talk about this you like <sighs> Are you um cool. the this whole thing of like you do you like do you not want friends? Do you I feel I don't think so. What the the fist bumping thing gi gives to me the impression that you do desire social contact. Yeah, I like I do want to be around people, but I just don't want friends. Why do you not want friends? Severe abandonment issues by previous friends. When was this? Three years ago. Yeah. You felt abandoned, but how did you feel abandoned by your friends? Well, like, we all kind of graduated, and I knew that everybody was going to go their own separate ways. But it was when they started, when they kept on hanging out with people that were getting them in like legal trouble in the city that I'm in, because they went to different cities. But like they'd come back and then like hang out at home, and they'd have to go through my city to do both. And it's like, huh, they're hanging out with that guy, but they're not hanging out with you. And it, like you purpose, you try and hang out with these people and talk with them and like send them Christmas messages or like holiday messages or fuck birthday messages because I get Facebook notifications and I like the ideas of Christmas cards and that kind of stuff. So like you just send them like a quick note and then like they don't respond and they don't res uh, like invite you to other things. Hell, the first party that I went to, people were surprised I went there and they were people that I would have considered friends at the time. So you're a f so you 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 don't want to make friends because you're afraid that your friends will like leave you. I guess, but at the same time, it's like I'm kind of past that. Like I just don't like. In order for me to have a relationship, I feel like there has to be a function in order like to have the relationship. Like you need to provide them something both ways yeah like they need something done and i can provide it or i need something done and they can provide it what do you mean by you need something done like like you like do you mean in the most do you mean in the literal sense of like i'm gonna be friends with this it guy because he can fix my computer yeah and i'm going to like hang out with him and i'm going to invite him over i'm if he smokes if he smokes pot i'm gonna smoke pot with him and like we're gonna hang out in that kind of sense like I don't know. I, I don't know how to better explain this. Okay. How long have you felt like this? Three years plus. 
it, and I, genuinely, I'm I'm curious. Is this like, is this like an issue in life that that you like really struggle with, or is it just kind of like, like how do you how do you yeah. even see this issue? Like, is this a problem for you, or are you just kind of like, oh, that's that's that part like, of my life? I, I don't know. It's because like everybody I meet, they're like they tell me similarly, like, oh, you're a pretty cool guy. You know how to talk with people. You like. And like people seem to genuinely like me, my bosses, my coworkers, like um, previous or previous people that I've known, they seem to find great. I don't want to say interest because that would mean that they like would know things about me, but like they seem to like me, and like I just don't get it. And like I just fist bump people because it's the simplest. Like it's just a fist bump. Don't overthink it, and people overthink it. So it's your it's your um like way of getting it's my way just of socializing. En- it's your way yeah, of getting just, just enough, enough socializing. socializing. You're getting just enough socializing, just enough intimacy that uh they don't get too close and then like everything gets fucked up. Yes. Huh. Have you ever been to a real therapist to talk about this? I have, but not about, well, I, I've actually told my last therapist, yes. And he just kind of told me that so long as I'm not putting myself or others in danger, I'm okay. That's fucking stupid. I mean, like, <laughs> I'm glad that you're not putting yourself or others in danger. Oh, but, no, no, um, I'm past that point. Yeah. Okay. All right, good. Um, But, like, are you... Did he give you any advice on how to like build a, uh, like uh, legitimate social life or overcome any of these hangups? No. He gave me lamotrigine. That's a medication, right? Yes. Okay. How how's that going for you? I stopped taking it because exercise seemed to be working better, and I've been right. Okay. What have you like tried to do anything to get over these hangups? I mean, like, I've made out with a girl before, but like, like I kind of bled all over her face. <laughs> okay, I have. Okay, first of all, that's what do you, what, what do you mean you bled on her face? Like, I had an anime moment. <laughs> 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 You you were like you had an anime moment where your nose started just bleeding because you yeah. were a girl. Yeah. That's pretty funny. That has nothing to do with what we were just talking about, by the way, because you can make out. Yeah, with, that was just a really good deflection. That was it was a good deflection because again you can make out with you can make out with um, to quote Froggy Fresh. This is a deep cut. You can make out with every girl in the world, and uh, it won't uh, fucking. Uh, I don't think fix like whatever mental hangups you have. Uh, it's, it, like ultimately, like I used to like believe in that toxic bullshit where like I needed like another person, but like now I just kind of like I want to do it by myself, but it's just so hard, and like you need people. But like I just I don't think I was socialized or taught to socialize with people my age. Like when you were a kid. Yeah, like I just, I, I really like adults. Like I like talking with older people and like they like talking to me, but like they look at, they see me and I'm just a child. So like I can't really mesh with them. But at the do same you, time, because of the way I talk, I can't mesh with younger people. Do you go I to, uh, like. okay, so you didn't go to college. What do you do? Do you work? Uh, yeah, I do work. I, I have, a state license and things that's on I'm going to go into into with you that one sta- you have a state license with do you do you kill people do you have the license to kill no 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 I don't have a license to kill that's no I don't have a license I'm not a bounty hunter or anything like that but I do have some kind uh, of I, don't, I didn't I didn't think you were a bounty hunter although that would be a funny way to uh, coax your bounties to you is by offering free fist <laughs> on the on the corner no I not a single part of my being thought that you were a bounty hunter um yeah, was it the way i sound do I, I i feel like i sound like a teddy bear 
don't. I wouldn't say that, and I and I would also not say you sound like a bounty hunter. Or is it fishing? Do you fish? Whatever. I'll stop trying to guess what you do. But tell me this: I, Do you? I mean, like, like, do you do you feel like you like have a well-rounded life outside of that? Probably not. I mean, like, I like to exercise. It's been a while since I've exercised. I like playing video games. I recently got in into into clothes so i'm trying to figure that stuff out and like i have other interests but like i kind of lost interest in a lot of things that i wanted to do as time goes by and i've just kind of been living a meh life so yeah i like playing chess i play chess in public not a lot of people do play chess it's funny man because i actually really like a lot of these like the fist bump thing and the chess thing it's like i actually really like the way that you're putting yourself out there um I, like i it's not like i'm not putting myself out there but like at the same time i just don't want to like like i don't want to use the word tarnish because that would imply that i'm ruining somebody and i'm not ruining somebody but i just don't want to make these friendships and and like just have them like ripped apart by the other person I feel like there's a lot of songs written about this where it's yeah, like, there I don't want I mean, like, to it, love, sorry. I don't want to love because then I'll just get my heart broken again. And then at yeah, the end the, it's the, like, but I got to love, you know? Yeah. Like it's not a unique emotion. I'm not, I'm not calling myself like some kind of fucking butterfly or anything like that. It's not a unique emotion, but like at the same time, like I seem to be the only person that expresses it this way. You are the only person I've ever talked to that has expressed this by uh, do, doing fist bumps on the corner every weekend from 10 p.m. to 1 a.m. That is true. That is very true. Uh, I, there are way, but but also there, uh, you know, other people express these thoughts by um, in unique know, ways as well. Uh, yeah, killing people. I mean, so I like the fist bumps. I mean, how you're dressed as you're dressed as a gecko talking to me. I am dressed as a gecko talking to you, which is really not that far <laughs> off from giving fist bumps. Uh, no, it, it really isn't. Like, it's yeah, really you're dressed not. as you're a right. gecko, and you should listen you're to not. Doja Cat. You it's should not. start painting your face red. Okay, well, um, <laughs> I'm more offended by that than anything else that you've said <laughs> over the course of this call. Anyway, um, shit, man, I don't know what to tell you about that feeling. I really don't because it's uh, uh. It's hard. I don't, I really, really don't know how to deal with that feeling. My best working theory is that, um, and I think I talked about this on a previous episode of the podcast, and I've been thinking about it a lot in my personal life. The whole idea of I don't want to like any, I don't want to bring any friends into my life. I don't want to bring any love into my life because I'm afraid that it will go away or it will hurt me. You could um, bring that back to this general idea of like, I'm not going to let myself experience joy or experience anything because the experience of, of these positive feelings will inevitably, uh, you know, fuck me and lead to nothing or lead to lead to heartbreak. It's like, I don't want to get a puppy because in nine years or whatever, it's going to die and I'll be sad. No, but at least the do- like at least with the dog, it kind of goes back into. Sure, like- sure. Yes, I know. Uh, the semantics aside, um, the whole idea, though, right? Of like, I don't want to okay. let myself be happy because then I'm gonna get fucked. Uh, I've been thinking about this forever. I do the same thing. I really do. I really, really prevent myself from enjoying things um, because I'm afraid that uh, it'll it'll backfire, turn into shit or whatever. And um, uh, the, I under, so I understand like the um, like being in that place emotionally, but when I like step back or, uh, and I like kind of look at it, uh, I like really logically I'm like that's such a fucking stupid way to live. Because, it is because you need people. Like people are good you for need, you. Yeah, you need people. People are good for you, and it's also. Uh, but again, larger than that, it's like you're just gonna like never do anything because you're gonna be screwed at the end of the day you're gonna be screwed at the end of the day because at the end of the day you're gonna die so and you're gonna be alone and nobody's gonna give a fuck about your grave and it's gonna be (laughs) all dirty yeah 
Like yeah, I get so, it. I, I, I understand so, the so, hypocrisy so, of so, like, the shit I'm so, saying. So okay, yeah. So hold on. So so it's okay. Logically, I can look at it and I can go. That's a really dumb way to live. Not allowing yourself to be happy or experience friendship or experience whatever other thing because it's gonna bite you in the end. And like, what you're gonna die at the end of the day. So you're you're fucked no matter what you do. Um. That's the that's I just have that logical conclusion. I just come to that conclusion that it's a, it's a dumb way to live. I don't it, know how to it, incorporate it that to, emotionally. No, it is a stupid way to live because like the opposite of emotions is indifference, and like it's it's just shitty to be indifferent because at that point you're just a machine, and I'm not a machine. But at the same time, it's like well, like it's all going to end eventually, and like I just don't care enough about people to like actually want to have be in their lives or have them be in my life life yeah i think i used that I don't know. correctly i don't know i don't i really i don't know how to get over that i really don't it's like a, it, it's it, i mean and and i forgot to mention not, i forgot yeah. to mention uh when i started doing this a year ago i was working in that area and i adopted I asked if, if I could adopt a red bow tie into my all black uniform. I, I was I was a I was a buster at a restaurant. I was the only person to do that and people fucking loved it. And then after that I kind like I was twenty, so I couldn't go to bars and I that's why I started posting up and give, giving giving fist <laughs> just to like feel associated. <laughs> with the yeah, you're like I just wanna be associated with the nightlife. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I, I like the fist bump thing. I I, I really do. I think it's yeah. Uh, so. I mean, look, I do the I do that thing where I go outside and dress up as a gecko and and chat with folks, and it's really the same fucking idea. Um. So yeah, I like that idea. How do you care? I don't. I don't know. I've been trying to think that. I've been trying to figure that out myself. I, I, maybe it's like, maybe it's something chemical. Maybe it's depression. I mean, um. <laughs> Like they, I've been told that I'm like I'm depressed, but like I just don't believe it. I just don't think I've I've been able to like have those relationships with people either because they were like the incorrect people because people were debating over how I should have those kinds of interactions. So they, I just didn't interact in general, or just because like I don't know. Hmm. Um. Did you? What do you think you're gonna do? I think I'm gonna go. I'm get ready. I'm gonna shower because I smell like a fucking god. Ten out of ten. Not. You know what? I'm not even gonna plug that sponsorship in because I'm not sponsored by them, and neither are you. And uh, I'm going to go get. I've been told that I'm I'm very attractive by both sexes, like I told you. Okay. All right. And I'm going to go get ready for that, and then I'm going to go downtown at about 10:30, and just go get really fucking high. And you're gonna fist bump people. And I'm gonna fist bump people. Yep. Okay. Yeah, I don't Have drink because I'm too broke to drink, but I'm I'm going to smoke. I have a lot of weed. Well, have a good time, man. I don't know. Don't, I listen. I like the fist bump thing, but um, fuck, man. I don't know. You're t you're talking about a lot of stuff that I I I think about the answers to a lot, but I've come. Oh, good. If you if you want to try and figure this out, we can. My sir, you have my phone number. Okay. Well, um, <laughs> listen, man. Enjoy yeah. your fist bumps and. Uh, 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 fuck, I was trying to think of something in our call to reference at, at the end, but whatever. What's your name again? Or are you, I didn't uh, know. Amelie, you like the song. Amelie, like the song. Um, good luck Amelie, with your Amelie, Amelie. Good luck Thank with you. Thank you very you much, thought about you ever, Why don't you want, you want hey, you ever want, my final, my final recommendation. What about, you, you, you ever thought about monetizing this? You ever thought about maybe a tip jar? Like, I've had a guy throw a dollar at me and I gave him that dollar back and then 
like I just did. I, I'm not a stripper. You nah, you do it for the love of the game. I know that you do it for the like, love of I, the like, game. like I do it for the love of the game. Like I just really like fist bumping people, and like I, I think I said this earlier, but I've only recently started to record myself because people were asking me like why I'm not recording myself, or if it's a social experiment, or like what am what are you doing? Like I'll be fist bumping people, and they'll like shove their hand underneath mine, and they'll like they're expecting something, and I just either A, fist bump their hand, or B, ignore is, them. Is there anything else you want to say to the people at the computer before we go? Um, fuck it, I guess I'll just throw myself out there, I guess. If you're ever in Tucson, by all means, go downtown. I'll be there for the next year. Take care, Millie. You too, Lyle. Goodbye. I do like the fist bump thing. It really is the same energy as, like, uh going out as a gecko to chat with people it's just something to something to like interact with folks Gek. hi there um how can i get you today um so i live with my boyfriend and something that i've always been like really proud of him for is like how clean he is but this past weekend we went on a little bit of a bender and I found a piss jar in our apartment, and it's fucking foul. <laughs> How much piss was in the piss jar? Like a big mason jar. Sorry, I'm like shaking. I'm nervous. So like, um, um, a, go ahead. Like a massive piss jar, like a thirty-six ounce of piss. Thirty-six ounces of piss. How many ounces are in a pint? <laughs> Um, no clue. That's like, how many pints is that? Do you have any, you don't have any idea? A solid, like, quart container of piss. You So you found a quart of piss. Well, yeah, it was like a mason jar, but it, like, about the size of a quart container. Where did you find it? In our bedroom. Uh, where in the bedroom? On his, like, uh, drawer. Okay, so he has like, a really nightstand. Like, out in the open. Yeah, you, okay, you waited on his drawers or inside of the <laughs> drawers? On the, like, on top of the dresser drawers. Okay, so he has a, he has a nightstand, and you found mm -hmm. a, a quart of piss on his nightstand. Just yeah. Just sitting on the nightstand. Next to his lamp and his alarm clock and his phone charger, a quart of piss. Yeah. Okay, that's not exactly... It, a hidden cord of how did you what do you mean you found like how, how can I you have been discovered it? how can you have been sleeping next to this guy for that long <laughs> and not notice that there was a it'd be one thing if you were like snooping through his drawers but you're, are you sure you're telling me this right it was on yeah. the nightstand no that's the thing too that i don't understand because so i woke up went to work in the morning came home didn't go up into the bedroom that's like on the second floor and got in a bed, and I was like, what is that fucking smell? And then I look over, and it's just sitting there. So it's like, how did I not see it in the morning when I woke up to go to work? Like, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, this, I don't know. This, this, this really isn't adding up to me. He has the piss jar on his nightstand. Yes. And how long has it been there for? I mean, it was a lot of piss. I'd never seen it before. I don't, I mean... I don't know how that much piss could have been accumulated through like one night is my main concern. Cause I don't know. Did you confront him about it? Did you talk to him about it? So he was downstairs with our friend and I literally just grabbed the piss jar, smelled it. Cause I was like, is this beer or something? Smelled it. Definitely pissed. Came downstairs and just like dropped in front of him. And I was like, this is fucking disgusting. I never want to see this again. Like never do this again. He's 38. He's a grown man. Like, he doesn't need to be doing that. <laughs> like, just go pee. We have a bathroom. Be civilized. You, you grabbed the piss jar? Like, you held it long enough? You held it for the duration of a full walk down the stairs? Yes. Was it warm? No. Room temp. How, how did he react when you confronted him about it? He looked mortified. 
reasonably. Did he have anything to say for himself? Um, he grabbed it from me and said, we are never talking about this again. But I've brought it up multiple times. Just because, like, I'll think of it. Like, it's just, like, been on my mind, you know? Like, that's disgusting. Do you have anything like that in the house? No. Like, do you have, like, a... You don't have, you don't have your own piss blood, piss jar, or a period blood jar, or a toenail clippings or anything like can. that? I have a trash can next to the toilet, but I respectfully okay. wrap up my tampons. Like an adult. Okay, that is that is respectful. That is adult. I repeat, mm-hmm. that is good. That's a good thing. Um, okay, so it, does this does this pose a problem for you? Is this a is this a deal breaker? Is this if you found another? By the way, just I uh, okay, we really haven't. I we dude, I really need you to get into this with me because I can't get over it. It was on the nightstand and you didn't see it. Correct. I didn't see it until I crawled into bed that night. How long? Has it been sitting on that nightstand for? No clue. I don't know if he started. How big is your? Do you have like a really big (laughs) bed, and so when you look to your right, you can't see that? I don't get it. No, I I don't know. I don't know either. Like I don't know how I didn't see it. Like, cause it's a lot of piss. Like it's more piss than you would just do in like one night, like two a.m. piss. You know what I mean? So I don't know how I didn't see it the night prior. We were drinking, so maybe I just wasn't paying attention. But, like, how did I not see it in the morning? So did he have it hidden? Then he brought it out for me, just presented for me to see when I went to bed that night. I, I, I mean, I got a, I got another I got another idea for you. Are you sure that that's 100% his piss? Could it be, um, it could, I mean, there's a lot of theories. It could be some of his <laughs> friends' piss. Um, I don't want to throw, I mean, this is kind of a, wild accusation but you know it could be a mistress's piss that's try saying that 10 times a mistress's piss um that'd be hard it could be it could be other people's piss it combined into one jar because you do have sufficient uh uh you do have a reasonable doubt that one man could produce all that piss (laughs) in well you don't even know uh, well okay you're you don't even know how long that jar has been up there that jar could have came with the fucking house when you rented it it could have, but, like, I smelled it, you know? And, like, I'm not that, you know? Like, I like to think, I don't know. And if it is a collection of people's pisses, that's a much bigger problem. And he doesn't want to talk about it? Um, He just gets upset when I talk to him about it. Like, defensive. Because he knows it's gross. Does he still do it? Is he still collecting... What happened with the jar? Do you, did he throw it away when he took it from you? What did he do with it? Oh, my God. So he washed it out, and then he put it in the dishwasher. And now I don't know which one it is that's in the dishwasher. So I'm literally on my third cycle of running the dishes. Because I don't know which, like, we have multiple of those, like, big-ass mason jars. I don't know which one it is. How many more piss jars until you leave him? What do you think? <laughs> if One. One. I see one more piss jar, I'm out. Yeah. Love him. You know, I do love him. But that's really foul. You love him up to one piss jar. Two piss jars is too much. Two piss jars is going over the limit. See, that's why I... That's why, I mean, I... I um, You know, I mean, that's one of the great pleasures of living alone is I actually have um, about ten piss jars just in my <laughs> freezer. Just in case but you have the freedom I need to them. That. I have the freedom to do that. Yeah, I think when you yeah. uh, you can't really be keeping piss jars when you have roommates. Yeah, yeah, much less your girlfriend. Like, come on. Even what if, if he, he had you, roommates. What if he told you that uh, he just he? What if I have a question? I'm curious about this before we go. So I don't like the way that he handled it because I think that. Uh, Taking the piss jar away and going, we're never going to talk about this. I don't think that's the right way to handle it. I think you have to do what you have to do really in that situation. One of two things. You either have to be like, you know what, babe, you're right. It's gross. I'm sorry. Won't do it again. I don't know what I was thinking. And then, you know, go leave it at that. Or just defend it. 
I love pissing in a jar. Okay. Yeah. I've been pissing in jars and keeping it on my nightstand for my entire life. <laughs> it's part of who I am. And for this relationship to work, I need you to accept and love every single part of me, including the part of me that pisses in a jar and keeps it on my nightstand. Yeah. Right. You got to do one of those two things. You got to either uh, uh, apologize and, and uh, not do it again. Or you got to own that shit. Yeah. So, so to me, uh, this man's cowardice lies not this. The, to my fault with this man is not that he pissed in the jar. But it's 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 the way he handled the situation that I'm not a fan of. I think he, he yeah. could have either defended it or um, took the L on it. Those are really those are your two options in life. Anything in between is that's really what you got to do. You gotta take an L or defend yourself. Yeah. Those are the only two reasonable options. Anything in between is like, what are you, what are you doing? Yeah. You know? Leaves too so, much open. Um, <laughs> so tell your boyfriend that he's got to, he's got to do one of those two things. Yeah. Now, if he Can said do. to, if he, if he confidently told you that that's part of who he is, is pissing in jars, what would you say to that? Oh my god, I don't know. I probably wouldn't talk to him for a week and contemplate. Like I couldn't live with someone that pisses in jars. Like what if you I, love apparently them? I do. Apparently I do. <laughs> and that's tr and that's true. You do. You yeah. Do. Ugh. Uh, is there anything else you want to say to the people at the computer before we go? No. Um, I've been binging your episode, so it's really nice to talk to you. Uh, okay. It's been nice talking to you too, and. Um, Look, I know it's tougher for women logistically, but try, you know, if let's say he does defend it to you, maybe you could piss at a jar to kind of get an idea of, you know, how he's thinking about it. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> you also, you also, I'm, I'm also not right. You don't, you don't have to do that shit. That's kind of, anyway. Definitely all right. Thanks not, for calling. But thank you. <laughs> all from Alex. Hello. Hey, what's up? What's your name, sir? My name is Alex. And I've got a funny story for you. Um, go ahead. Go ahead. So, the last time I interacted with your channel was actually several years ago. And I was going through a rough time. I don't particularly remember what, but we just had this moment of silence. And it lasted what I would like to call an uncomfortable amount of time. Just you sitting on stream, me sitting on the phone. There was one comment, don't remember from whom, but they said, man, seems like that guy needed that moment. And I just wanted to say thank you. Wow. Okay, so we've talked before, but technically not even talked before because there was silence. Yeah, yeah, it was pretty much just uh, several moments of silence. And then I think I actually ended up breaking it. It was going on a minute long. And I was like, this was good. Thank you. And he said, thank you. And then we hung up. Did you really feel like you needed that moment? You know, it's hard to say. Um, I felt like it was pretty chill, pretty cool. Um, life is up, though. We're winning. We're out here winning. And that time I uh, got a master's degree, working a good job. Um, so... You know, you could say that that was the inflection point where things started going up. Not to make so you've it too called, hot and heavy here. So, so you've called me to tell me that um, me saying literally nothing to you caused a lot of great things to happen in your life as a direct result. I think that's exactly what I called to tell you today. I think that um, if that moment of silence hadn't happened... Um, I mean, who's to say where my life would have gone? I probably would be doing all kinds of horrible things like cutting people off in traffic or I probably wouldn't have two dogs. I've got two dogs now. They're pretty sick. Names Miso and Wasabi. Hey, Alex. Yes, sir. About that time. Yeah. <laughs> 
It was good to talk to you again. The pleasure's all mine. Have a good stream. Take care. Likewise. Hello. Hi. Hey. What's your name? My name is Mike. Mike. Uh, it says here, um, I'm just going to read this verbatim. Uh, my name is Mike. I'm 29. And my car is, all caps, full of wasps. <laughs> yeah. And it is 100% my fault. How? It is 100% my fault. Okay, what happens? Okay, so it's it's actually my work car specifically that's full of wasps. And I should have known it was going to happen because I put them in there. Okay, so you... Mike. Yes. Uh, your car is full of wasps because you, because you put the wasps in there. Well, yeah, they were in a bag. Okay, what, why are you putting wasps in your car? Well, I, I, I kill bugs, and this one particular lady had a bunch of wasps in, like, a fake tree pot on her, on her apartment balcony. She was like, oh, I don't want my cats coming out here, and they're being, like, sprays and stuff all over. So, as a, as a solution-oriented guy, I was like, you know what, I got this, this garbage bag, I'll just stick the whole thing in this bag. And uh, tie it off, and it'll be fine. It was not fine. Are, th- are the wasps dead? No. They are very much alive. And they've gotten out your- of the bag. I thought your job was to kill insects. I mean, yeah. In this case, I was, I was going to displace them first, and then just toss them in the dumpster behind my building. Um, but by the time I pulled up to my building... The wasps had come out of the bag in the sealed off back part of the car. And now it's full of very pissed off and hot wasps. See, the funny thing is you're going to call somebody to get rid of the wasps. And then your phone's going to start ringing. Because you're the because you're the guy that gets rid of the wasps. I am the guy that gets rid of the wasps. See, And I've got a bee suit. I've got a bee suit. But... You're not going to believe this. Uh, no, I'm not. Tell me. It's in the car with the wasp. Why do you need a bee suit? Oh, I, I, oh, oh, wait. I'm so dumb. <laughs> I said, why do you need a bee suit? Because I thought that you meant like a bee costume. <laughs> I didn't realize no. you meant like, like, what, a yeah, like one of those. Suit. A yeah. beekeeping suit. I was like, why do you need to dress up like a bee to like gain the... Um, Trust the of trust these of the wasps. wasps. Um, but I was like, hey, man, this guy's the best in the country. He has his methods. Uh, okay, so what? Uh, why didn't you kill the wasps? I thought you, that's what you're supposed to do. They're going to die anyway. Was, was, this, was this like a – were you trying to be benevolent and uh, let the wasps free? Truthfully, I just wanted to take the most immediate solution because, like, they were almost all in the nest in this, this this plant pot on her balcony. And like, she was like, oh, you can take some stuff out of there. Like there were a couple of rocks and a little makeshift trap that she made that didn't work. And so I was moving some stuff around. I moved one of the rocks, the tree, like shifted 45 degrees. And they just got super pissed. Bunch of angry wasps flying around on her balcony, right around the thing I was trying to deal with. I was like, you know what? Gonna Don't you have like a in. gun or something? Not like a gun gun, but like a, a spray gun or some shit that just yeah, kills totally. wasps? It was okay, right why don't you, are you, why don't you carpet door. bomb why don't you carpet bomb your car with fucking wasp spray? The sprayer is in the car with the wasp. Oh, it's all in the car with the wasp. Damn. <laughs> yep. It's all in the car with the wasps. All of it. How many wasps are in your car? Um, At least like two or three hundred. Two or three hundred wasps? They aren't all out of the bag, but um, there there are more of them coming out as the day goes on. Are they? Do you think there's more because they've repopulated? They've laid, laid eggs. I don't know. 
I mean, they, they, they got larvae in there. Unless they start cannibalizing, the larvae are going to run out of food. They might, they should die off on their own. Uh, probably not by the end of the weekend when I'm going to need to use the car again. So I'll have to come up with a creative solution in the meantime. Wait, how, do you, how are you so sure they're going to die off on their own instead of resorting to cannibalism to stay alive? You know, I'm not 100% committed to the fact that they will die off. But like, most of them, like, a lot of them are in the bag. A lot of them are in the bag. Like, it's obviously not, not airtight because they're getting out. Okay, um, I have a question. Yeah. Are you avoiding calling another wasp exterminator because it would make you feel emasculated? No, not at all. Okay, so why do you do that? I could call my roommate. Does your roommate fight wasps? Yeah. But he has the key to his work vehicle, which is also and part it's in your car. outside our building. <laughs> no, no. Oh, okay. It'd be, it'd be funnier if, if it was, actually. So. Okay, so the key to his bee suit is in somewhere it's else? It's in his car, but he's, he's driving his girlfriend over to hang out with her sister like three hours away. Oh, okay. He's got a life. He has oh, better yeah. things to do than this. He does. I'm watching a gecko right. on the computer. Yeah. So yeah. you're just going to uh, so you're just going to walk. You just can wa- you're going to walk from now on. No more car. I'm not a personal vehicle. That's fine. But I'm not I, Oh, so I, you, have I, an, I you have another car. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't I don't use the company vehicle for everything. Is your is your boss mad that you infested the vehicle with wasps? Oh, he has no idea. Are you going to tell him? Probably not. He'll probably be like, well, get in there and fucking kill the wasps. That's what you do. That's that's probably what he would say, yeah. It's like if a fire truck was on fire. <laughs> Who'd he call? I guess... I guess the firefighters in the next county. Not me. I can't help you at all. No. I mean, you can't help... Yeah, you can't help me at all, but... I can provide I you. I can provide you emotional. I can provide you emotional support in your time of need, but I don't know how much that is helpful for you. A little actual healing is more than enough. I'll uh, I'll take it. Is there anything else you want to say to the people at the computer before we go? There is something. Go ahead. Rats will fuck up your house. Rats. Rats. Feral rats. They will fuck up your house. And you know this from experience. You've had a rat. You've had first. Rats in your house, not, then wasps not in my your house. car. I fuck up. I fuck this? up rats in other people's houses. No rats in. My oh, house. you fuck up but rats. I do have. A, I do have a bunch of wasps in my car. That is one hundred percent genuine. Would you rather fight a thousand rats or a thousand wasps? That's a big question. And you that get depends your stupid, on you get your stupid gun thing. It depends on the, the species of wasp, if, if I'm being totally honest. Like, the spe- whatever hornets? is in your car. Oh, the ones in my car? No, no. Uh, a thousand wasps, for sure. For sure. Okay, so they're not even that bad. Well, I mean, less bad than a thousand rats. Okay, real quick. You also texted me saying that you've eaten frozen pizza every day for three years. Yeah. How are you alive? <laughs> that is a really good question. They're like the 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 twelve inch, uh, uh, four in one box frozen pizzas. It's how I survived living underneath the poverty line for like three years. You, are you still underneath? Are you it. still underneath the poverty line? No, no, I make good money killing bugs. Fuck yeah, it's good. I still eat pizzas though. What kind of pizza? Uh, they come in cheese and pepperoni. I toss like. Cajun seasoning, maybe some, some garlic powder on there. Get cans of like fucking pineapple, toss those on some of them. Uh, uh, sauce that shit up, sriracha, fucking chipotle mayo. Uh, got curious about teriyaki one time. Thousand Island, oh man. Dude, the potential for pizzas is infinite. Despite having wasps in your car, you have a good life. I like to think so. The show in Seattle like, fucking slapped. Oh shit, you were there? Oh hell yeah, hell yeah. I was. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I was. I didn't stay around because I had to drive back up to Vancouver. But 
was a good well, time. I'll see, I'll, see, I'll, 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 see, I'll see you next time, and uh, don't bring any fucking wasps to the show. I can't promise you that. But I'll do my Bye, best. Mac. Later. If he brings wasps to the show, he's not getting in. That goes for anyone listening. Um, Tyler. Hello? Hello? What is your name? Uh, Tyler. How can I get you today, Tyler? What's going on? Uh, I thought it would be a, a funny story that uh, my, my cat ate a used condom. Oh, okay. Did, uh, did they get pregnant? I, I hope not. It's a boy, so I, I'm kind of praying not. It is, it is kind of disturbing that my, a part of me and part of my girlfriend had been inside of my cat. Yeah, it's almost like you jizzed in your cat's mouth. <laughs> no, it's it, not, it was, here's, it's, it's not, it's not exactly the same process. But they both ended in the same result, unfortunately. Yeah, it is, it is mighty unfortunate. So that's pretty I, not, I mean, that's not cool. I, I, I think he might have thought it was like like turkey skin or something. I, I have no idea what have, have to have the impulse to gobble that shit that, just eat it. I don't know. Like, well, the good news, I mean, the good news is that your cat, doesn't know that your cum is <laughs> your cum. Like, they don't... Like, to our... In our universe and our perceptions of things, um, your cat yeah. eating your jizz is gross. But I guess very, to your cat... Well, uh, I mean, he didn't your quite cat, but exactly to your, to your, eat it, if you think about it. Because it was inside of it. Well, so, if I eat a hamburger, am I not eating cheese because it's inside of a hamburger? That doesn't make any sense. Well, I mean, maybe the condom got twisted up, so the condom stayed within the jizz, the jizz inside the condom. So therefore, yes, but the jizz, the jizz <laughs> is inside of your cat. I guess, yeah. I'm trying to justify it. Wait, hold on, hold on. Okay, what do you? You know, what do you? Well, not that what do you mean? Way. Hold I... on, hold on, hold on. Just what do you mean by justify? There's nothing to justify. It's not. Did you feed the condom to your cat? No. So, okay. So what happened was, you know, me and, and the old girlfriend, you know, did did the dirty, and then you know I finished, and you know I I was able to keep going. So I put it down on the ground for for a moment, like. On, I had my pants on the ground, so I put it on top of my pants that was on the ground. Okay, you know, you know, um, you chucked it. Sure. Okay, you chucked it on the ground. Yeah, pretty much. Um, and I didn't know I had the door closed, and uh, apparently he came in while we're going round two, and then when I finished again, <laughs> I he, had the, he ate the thing. Okay, but there's not he, yeah. uh, you. you Again, you didn't feed the cat your condom. This was no, a no, this no, was an not, not in a You did no, not no. jizz in your cat's mouth or force feed them no, a condom. No, no, that is, okay. that is, I that would deserve to be hung if I ever done that. That is, that is terrible. No, this was on pure accident, and I was just stupid and did not close the door. Hey, man, you, listen, don't you seem like this is haunting you? You know, at the end of the day, it is like a funny story to tell, but it is, I, I guess, keep telling the story makes me feel a little bit better because it just gets funnier and it's just like, oh, all right. I mean, he, it passed through. It was not supposed to, supposedly. But You know what? You know how, actually, hold on. You know what? I, I actually have an idea. I think I know how you can rectify the situation. Okay. You have to, um... You have to eat the shit covered condom. <laughs> Don't ask me any further questions. Don't ask me any further questions as to how that rectifies the situation, but that's what I've decided that you have to do to Should I do the like situation. a Alaskan pipeline, but instead of put it in my ass, just eat it? I'm not going to ask you what an Alaskan pipeline is. Is there anything else you want to say to the people at the computer before we go? Um,. Make sure if if you have pets, cl close your doors when you're 
when you're when you're doing the dirty. All just, right, take care, sir. All right, I love you, Lau. Big fan. I might Google it later, but I wasn't going to sit there and, and have him explain to me what that is.